In this video, I'm going to talk about the Amazon rankings calculator and how we've built this out to reverse engineer your competitors ranks and then try and put like a value on that positive increase in rankings based on where you are versus your competition. Okay. So we've built this out just as a custom GPT. Um, for anyone not familiar, ChatGPT allows you to put in custom information and build out kind of like a software, a really micro software that you can then run and give to other people to run for you. So if you want us to do this for you, just go to the link in the description. I'll send you this information. Um, you don't need to have Helium 10 and everything we use. Just let me know your ASIN, compare to the ASIN and we'll go from there. So obviously we'll start and it should tell us all of the information that we need to basically go from there. So your product's keyword data. Now, for me, all I like to do is go over to Helium 10, go to Cerebro, and then for this, we're gonna do some, um, let's do a specific niche. Let me go and find one. So this is the niche that we did in the Amazon SEO course. So let's continue with this one. Let's say this is our primary keyword. And then we can go back over and we can see your product's keywords, basically the data we can upload from Helium 10 in a second, and your competition's data, okay? And then the price point on Amazon. So for your product's keyword data, let's say that we are somewhere near the bottom of page one. We don't have that many reviews because we're new. Let's take this person here. So let's imagine that this is our product data, okay? We're gonna take the ASIN, we're gonna throw it into Helium 10 Cerebro, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see what this person ranks for in the top 100. We don't need to go to top 200 for now. Um, search volume, we can keep open. We can have a look if I move myself over. Um, 636 keywords, apply filter, should be about 400 odd. 200, okay, quite low, but that'll do for now. So then we'll export that as a CSV. So you can see all we need is the keyword phrase, the search volume and the organic rank. Again, if you don't have Helium 10 or you don't want to do this yourself, um, just email me at amazonseoconsultant.com and then I'll throw this in for you for free and you can have a look. It's pretty interesting data as well because everybody talks about PPC and how to you know, optimize for PPC, get the best click-through rates and find keywords that aren't being bid on, yada, yada. Obviously, most people on this channel know my thoughts on that now. Um, so once we have our product data, we can say it's that one, we need the competition data. So if we go back to our top of the search, let's just take one of the top ranking ones. This one, 9,000, maybe a bit too high. Let's take this person, actually a slightly different product though. Let's take this guy here. And let's say this is our primary competitor then we can put this person's information in. And for this one, we wanna actually filter it a little bit more. So it doesn't say here, but this is just an internal tool. So it doesn't really matter. Um, we wanna take it for maybe like first to 30th or first to 50th. Let's do 50th in this example. And see how many keywords they rank for. Should be quite a lot, 843. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. It's a good amount. Then we can export this data as a CSV. Make sure you have your search volume and your organic rank. And then we can go back over to ChatGPT. And then finally we have three. So we can say, I'm just gonna rename this data a sec. Okay, so you can see we've got our competitor ranking product data. Just make sure you name these correctly. Don't get them mixed around the wrong way. Um, then we have this and then we can say, let's just say our product is $25 uh, dollars, and we'll see where we go from there. So you can see we've got our product ranking data, competitors one, search so volume organic rank. Then the tool is going to tell us basically the next steps. So once I uh, be out of blah, 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 you can read this if you want. It seems there's an issue accessing the data. Could you try uploading the files? Oh yeah, I forgot ChatGPT is not great at the moment. Um, let me try this again. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build this in um, Claude instead, because Claude is 100 times better nowadays, and we'll see how we go. Alrighty, so we've switched over to Claude. Um, this will be an interesting case study as well, just based on if this works pretty well. So let's just upload the data and go again. Okay, 
So we've uploaded all of the context from ChatGPT now, um, and I'm hoping this will work first time, but who knows? You probably won't see this if it doesn't, but let's go. So first let's merge and analyze the ranking difference between your products and your competitor products, right? So what this is doing is it's basically taking where you rank for specific keywords, matching those keywords up and creating the difference as you can see in the code there. So it, again, there's some prompts in here. Remember search volume greater than 100, your product ranks in the top 50 already because we don't want to start from absolute scratch, but the competition ranks better than you, right? And then the larger difference indicates a bigger opportunity, but it would also be more expensive. So then you follow the prompt through. You can say yes. Would you like to see potential sales differences? So now what we've done is we've referenced back those rankings and how they actually mix with a certain thing. So this is based on click-through rate, as you can see here, conversion rates of listings, and then like a sales multiplier as well. So from here, it'll run through all the different code, and then it will give us uh, the, um, the full analysis at the end. So then we can say yes again. And then you can integrate the campaign cost based on our internal agency costs. So this is basically how we find keyword opportunities, right? And it will tell you, just as you saw then, based on the search volume, how competitive things are, where they are ranking, where the competitor is ranking, and then the search volume, it'll come up with specific targeted, basically baselines, I guess is the best way to describe it, protections, um, and then it'll give you all the way down to an ROI. <coughs> so then again, you can see call to action here, ROI, etc. And we haven't downloaded the data, but can you, we'll see if we can get it. Okay, so I mean, hopefully we go. So we can see here, this keyword, we have 1900 search volume, our rank, so our product that we chose was our, you know, specific product on Amazon. And then the competitor ranks first for this apparently. Current monthly sales, only one, this is for us, okay. Compared to monthly sales, about 123. Potential increase, obviously the difference. Required keyword focus sales, 40. Based on our campaign costs, this would be it. This is probably a bit low, just FYI. Um, and then monthly revenue increase, 2.4K, and then ROI, 3.6. So that's instantly as well, by the way, not just you know total, that's ROI increase every single month. Um, so you can see another example here, search volume, a bit larger. We rank 83rd in this case, compared to that again, ranks first. Current monthly sales, none. Outside the top 50, you won't get any. Compared to monthly sales, about 740 a month, so pretty big money. Um, required keyword focus sales to rank for this keyword. Our estimation is about 65. Campaign cost, 1.1K. Monthly revenue increase, 14.8. So your ROI would be about 13.4, okay? Again, you can see in more examples, your rank, because this is less competitive, even though you do rank a bit higher, um, it would be slightly less. And then you can see some more examples. This one, you rank a lot higher, so this will probably be lower. Yeah, required, 25, um, and you get the idea, okay? Something like this, you're ranked 26 compared to six. This is kind of where we would start with people. We would say, okay, just off looking at these numbers, we probably only need 25 keyword focus sales. I'm saying 15, okay? So you can see, very, very low. Based on our previous video, if you haven't seen that, have a look at how we ranked a keyword that was 2,000 search volume and we had zero reviews and we ranked fourth in five days, something like that. Um, so yeah, campaign cost, again, we wouldn't really do a campaign for 15, it's not really worth it, but you get the idea. And then it gives us a best ROI campaign so 13.4, this is our previous one that we looked at. Then we got a balanced one and then a good one. Um, and yeah, you can see our pricing here. This is actually incorrect, but you get the idea. Everything is priced basically per keyword to improve rankings. So hopefully you like this tool. Um, if you wanna get a quote from us for any of this, just let me know, click the link in the description and I'll run this for you anyway, and you can see the results. The, usually we would have a full data, um, so for example, usually this is just shown as five. We would have all of them just in like an Excel doc or something, 
but that used to be an old GPT, but for some reason that's broken. So you can see here, we could get this out, save this as CSV, and then sort that through. Um, I'm not gonna do that for now, but you get the idea, okay? Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, any questions, let me know. If that sounds cool, just have a look at the um, site, get in touch, send me a few ASINs, and I'll run this for you. All right, cheers.